Celtics' two-game win streak is over, losing by 10 points to the Pistons. They started off with an eight-point lead and pretty much played to a draw the rest of the hat, the game. So I think the key to this game was Brad Stevens coaching against last year's Andre Drummond. Okay, He hadn't adapted. Brad Stevens had not adapted. He hadn't adapted to Drummond's free-throw shooting and his all-around improvement in play. So the Celtics lose their second home game, a game that was winnable against a very good Pistons team. But, you know, Andre Drummond, 22 rebounds, 26 points, plus 13. Um, and Tobias Harris was on fire. But let's look, guys. You know, Marcus Morris, I believe he took the last game off because he's got a sore knee, right? He's got a sore knee. And even though he hit some shots tonight, you've got Al Horford defending Andre Drummond, okay? And this was a game where Aaron Baines really should have been in that starting lineup to hell with continuity, right? Uh, Andre Drummond, way bigger than Al Horford. Al Horford, we know, doesn't play as well when he's at center, and the Celtics' rebounding ability just tanks, right? So Al Horford with five rebounds compared to Andre Drummond's 22. That's pretty much the story of the game. And then in the fourth quarter, right, down the stretch, it was a total game. We had it. But why the hell isn't Aaron Baines in there whatsoever? Why the hell is it is Al Horford trying to guard Andre Drummond, and why is Brad Stevens calling for hack at Drummond? What did Drummond shoot from the free throw line? Six for eight, right? So he had already been four for six, I believe, but he's shooting over 60%, right? Why is Brad Stevens doing hack at Drummond in the fourth quarter of a close game, giving the Pistons two points? So again, Brad Stevens defending last year's version of Andre Drummond. So hopefully he takes a hard look in the mirror because Brad Stevens made the mistake with the starting lineup, and then it's like he dug in his heels and he said, no, we're going with this all the way, all the way, and it cost us the game in the end. So Aaron Baines should have been playing in the fourth quarter, and Marcus Morris's defense was just really, really bad, guys. Uh, Tobias Harris scoring all over him, all kinds of guys scoring all over him, and I believe part of it is because he's playing with that sore knee. He's not able to get in shape. And uh, he's not really getting a hand up. He's not super aggressive defensively. Um, so there you go. You know, why is an injured guy? We won without him last time. Uh, 23 minutes. It could have been a little less than that. The bench played really well in the first half. But guys, Shemi Ojale didn't get any minutes in the second half. And I believe he should have been there. But also starting the second half should have been Aaron Baines in that starting lineup. Uh, you know, when you're depending on Marcus Smart making six three-pointers to keep you in a game, you know something's off with the game plan. So, guys, let me know what you thought of the game, and uh, I will see you soon. Peace.